So I started running. Let me tell you why. <laughs> Bonjour. So this all started because I'm reading Atomic Habits. Shocker. But I got really inspired just by the idea of doing something 1% better each day. And I also have trouble with perfectionism and like only doing things that I'm good at. And so running, running has always been something that I've been so insecure about. I've tried on like three separate occasions to get into running and like I've been pretty consistent. I think three miles is the farthest I've ran. But I just, rather than like a goal, I don't really have a goal in mind, but I just wanna become the kind of person that likes running and that finds some joy in it. So my dad is a marathoner, well was. He even did like ultra marathons. My sister is an amazing runner, so I've always felt like it's gotta be in my blood somewhere, but it's literally never, never worked for me. Okay, so <laughs> embarrassing story. When I was a senior in high school, I was a cheerleader and we had to run around the track when the guys were warming up for football. And my boyfriend at the time, Nice guy. He relayed to me that all the football players thought I looked really stupid running. And that's just, that's just stuck with me. And so now every time I run, I just picture a bunch of like 17 year old boys in my head being like, your arms look silly. They look silly. Do you think you're gonna become a running girl? Hard to say. I, I'm pretty confident. I'm good at sticking with things, but check back in in like two months. Might be a phase. No. Sorry, I don't, not be a phase? I don't want it to be a phase. All right, you need a third a cup of peanut butter. I'm just gonna eyeball this because it's so hard to get that out of there. I want two tablespoons of rice vinegar. You're gonna need two tablespoons of soy sauce. Two tablespoons of honey or maple syrup. Then one tablespoon of sesame oil. I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic. Fresh garlic would probably be better. And if you want it to be a little more saucy, you can always just add a little bit of water. It already looks. Mm. Let's get started making these rice paper wraps. You're gonna need to get a plate and put some cold water on it. Wait, is it cold water or warm water? Warm. Warm. That makes more sense. Bless you. And don't sneeze into the water. I saw a little trick that you're supposed to add a little bit of salt to this. I think it's kind of like salting your pasta water. And yeah, we just got these rice paper wraps off of Amazon, so they're pretty easy to find. What we have found that works best is, since we're frying them in the pan, is to do to use two rice papers for one rice paper wrap. Let's get our station ready to go. Step one put your rice paper into the warm water. You need to keep them in there for about 60 seconds until they get soft. And you're just gonna layer them on top of each other. Add as much as you would like. Voila. First one's done. We're gonna put it in the pan. And now we're just gonna do that on repeat. This recipe is definitely a labor of love, but it's really not too difficult. I think it looks more difficult than it really is. The first time we made these, I think it sounded a little daunting, but we don't make these all the time. But again, a good recipe for getting use of a lot of ingredients if you have a lot of things in your fridge that you are trying to get rid of. This might be the best one you've made. Thank you. Mm -hmm. It's currently 85 degrees in New York City, which means it's officially summertime. I mean, the spring. I thought I would share some spring facts for you. Yeah, I already read this one. Children grow more during spring. Honestly, can we talk about that for a second? Because I've never heard that before and that actually kind of baffles me. One, because like children are born mm, all days of the year. And so for them to all of a sudden grow specifically in the spring, just seems pretty wild, doesn't it? So I am curious if someone can fact check that, if that is fact or cat. More phone calls are made on Mother's Day than any other time of the year. Oh, that's very interesting. This is a reminder, I guess, to call your mother on Mother's Day. According to a Facebook study, early spring is when couples are most likely to break up. That's actually pretty interesting. <laughs> All right, just fair warning to all you couples out there, but I hold on tight, the spring is coming. Well, the spring's here actually, so hope you've made it through already. In literary work, spring is often used to represent birth, revival, and starts of happy and better times. And honestly, I'm kind of needing a little bit of them in my life. I feel like as of late, I've just been in a bit of a rut. 
I feel like it feels more like a creative rut for me personally. I'm currently getting a spam call. Um, so let's just spam the comments with the amount of spam calls you get in a day. I think for me, it's probably at least four to five. Yeah, Lucy and I are flying out to Seattle tomorrow because Lucy actually has another callback. This is a different theater than we mentioned previously, which I think we mentioned this on the vlog or maybe through a short or something. Yeah, so we're going back to Lucy's hometown, but we're actually going from Seattle to California and there's gonna be a lot of traveling these next couple of weeks. So we'll bring y'all along for all the travel plans that we have coming up. So essentially we need to pack up. We need to get this whole place ready to be gone for about two weeks. Is it two weeks, Lou? Three. Three weeks. I don't know if anyone else relates to this, but I just hate packing. I push it off to the last minute. It just takes me a long time to do it. So put a timer on for myself today. See how long it actually ends up taking me. It's 7.44 currently. Yeah, let's get started. So this will definitely be one of those packing trips that uh, we are just packing all of our laundry to get done. The dirty laundry. <laughs> it's getting warm, y'all. It's sweaty. getting warm. It's sweaty. Oh no, I didn't mean in the room, but oh, I guess okay. in the room as well. I meant it's gonna be warm where we're going. I am officially done packing. It only took me, let's see. It is 10 o'clock. Only took me Two and a half hours. Not really. We had dinner in between then and it probably took me about an hour accumulatively. But um not we cumulatively? Is that not the right word? Cumulatively. Cumulatively. <laughs> We're so excited to go to Seattle. If you haven't already, please like this video and subscribe. Next time you see us, we'll hopefully have um, more color in our skin from the sun. <laughs> Those Seattle rays. That's what I hear. The Seattle Ray Hawks. All right, see you next time. See you.